Hi, I'm Lisa Bed for The Survival Mom, and today I want to just do a quick demonstration to show how you can safely preserve many foods long term that maybe you thought you would not be able to store. I personally love different kinds of nuts. Almonds and walnuts are two of my favorites. I also love chocolate candy. And who can resist those terrific sales after every holiday for things like Hershey Kisses and M&Ms? But when we store these foods just on their own, they do become rancid and spoiled and many of them attract insects over time. With the use of just a simple canning jar, a canning jar lid, and some sort of vacuum sealer that comes with a hose attachment, you can give these jars an airtight seal and preserve those foods and many others for a long period of time, years in fact. All you have to do is fill a jar, a canning jar, with whatever dry food you're interested in preserving. In this case I was able to buy a lot of sea salt at a grocery store that just sells sea salt by the barrel. In this jar I have stored breadcrumbs. Um, over here this one isn't, yes it is sealed. This one is quinoa and this is flaxseed. And so all of these I wanted to store in an airtight container, but also I don't use them in great bulk. It's just, you know, in certain types of recipes I'll use them. So I, besides, you know, I didn't want them stored in five gallon buckets, that was too big. One gallon buckets, that's a pretty big size too. The larger canning jars are just right for things like um, seeds, nuts, coconut powder, or coconut, and so on. So let's just do a real quick demonstration of sealing this. For the sealing process, you do not need the jar rims. All right, we only need the flat lid. You're going to place it on a jar, take your jar sealer attachment. These are about nine or $10, and you can buy them uh, on Amazon, and also a lot of places where uh, different kinds of food vacuum sealers are stored. The reason I chose the food saver, it is just the easiest to buy accessories for. It is the most accessible for most people and if you do searches on places like Craigslist or even FreeCycle and eBay, you can very often find these at very low prices. So I know there are different brands out there, but this one just seems to be the most accessible when it comes to just buying a replacement if you need a replacement model or the various accessories and plastic bags. So the unit is on and my particular unit has a button here for accessory. I've attached this tube from an opening in the front of the vacuum sealer to the jar sealer um, attachment here and we're ready to go. When we're finished, I'm going to use a can opener to show you that indeed we did get a nice tight vacuum seal. This takes a few seconds and sometimes you can even hear the pop of the lid as the air, uh, the air is vacuumed out. to store shortening long term. So if you think of foods that maybe you weren't sure, you know, you know you can't can, you know, certain kinds of food, but consider this as an option. We take this, it just has a little spongy center that gives it a nice tight seal. And then with just a very, you know, common can opener, I'm just going to put this on the, uh, the edge here. Maybe I should have my reading glasses for this. Whoa. We had a very nice tight seal on there. Unless this becomes damaged, you can use the lids over and over again. You're just putting dry ingredients in here. We are not putting in anything wet or even slightly moist that could uh, cause bacteria to grow over time. So what else have I stored? I mentioned quinoa, this is flaxseed, different kinds of nuts, uh, cocoa powder, shortening as mentioned before. This can be used to store a lot of different kinds of food that maybe the canning method wasn't appropriate for, maybe the buckets were too big, maybe uh, the food saver bags or the vacuum pack bags wasn't just quite right. This is a great method for storing and it's also not too expensive once you get your vacuum sealer. This attachment comes in the wide jar size as well as just the smaller jar size. Make sure you use the right size for the jars and lids that you're using. I hope this is helpful to you. I've really appreciated having yet another way to store and store long term and preserve a lot of the foods that my family eats and that we love. This is Lisa Bedford, The Survival Mom, and I will catch you the next time around.